can you like sit still so I can do my video? Please, can you sit still? Can you sit still? No, I need you to be still because your collar is making too much noise. Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Okay you guys, so before this video gets started, um, <clears throat> I just wanna let you guys know that the video that you are about to watch was recorded like two days ago or something like that and this is the wig that i actually made it's holding up pretty well i just wanted i just wanted to give you guys a little review on the hair since i've been wearing it for a couple days now y'all the hair is bomb the curl pattern she know just won't sit down i know y'all can hear him the <laughs> the curl pattern is really bomb i brushed the hair out so it could be big because i wanted to bring in the new year's with big hair so i brushed the hair out and it's still like really soft and everything i know in the in the video i had pointed out that the wefts of um the bundles were a little bit thin but that's perfectly fine they held up and i didn't even use all four i think it was four yeah i didn't even use all four bundles i used only like chino Oh yeah, the, the wig is holding up really nicely. I don't usually do my wigs with glue, but it's like, it's really bomb. It's big, it's long. The wig came out amazing, I think. I think this is like one of my favorite wigs that I had. This hair is actually from Miss Hair. Um, I have 222 inches, 224 inches, and my closure that I sold, my closure is actually sold on. This is a 20 inch closure. So you only use like, only use like three, not even three and a half bundles. I don't even really think, I think only use like a little bit of the fourth bundle and that was it. Like it wasn't even half a bundle that I used. I still like have a full bundle left of this hair. So yeah, if you guys want to purchase some of this hair, all the links will be in the description box for you. And if you want to know how I achieved this wig, because it's really easy. Even if you don't know how to make wigs, you don't need all you need is hair glue and a blow dryer and some scissors. That's it. So if you guys want to see how I made this wig, just keep on watching and I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and I guess I will see you guys later. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm starting off with the Miss Hair um bundles 224 inches and 222 inches. And I already have my 20 inch closer sewed onto my um, my hair cap that I'm going to be gluing the tracks onto. So I'm going to show you guys everything that you will need for um, this particular type of wig. If you want to um, like make a wig the easy way, you will need a DIY uh, wig cap the size of your head. You will need glue. A blow dryer and scissors oh and you also need a shower cap just so the glue doesn't stick to your hair so you're gonna start off with putting the shower cap on your hair um, on your head first and then you're gonna put the cap the uh, the wig cap on top of the shower cap just so any glue wouldn't get on your hair and you guys I'm not feeling too good I'm like really sick right now so just bear with me throughout this whole video yeah. okay so now I'm twisting up the closure piece and I'm just gonna clip it down so it doesn't get in the way so it doesn't get any um, glue or anything on the hair so I'm just gonna clip that up and put it out the way This is the part where I was talking about where I noticed that the wefts were really thin. Um, I mean, but it still worked out. It didn't. It didn't bother me at all. But um, I'm just using the track, the first 24 inch bundle, and I'm just taking the track and I'm sizing my head. I'm yeah. cutting it the um, the length that I need, and I'm going to put glue on it, and I'm going to blow dry the track, um, the glue down for a couple seconds. Um, just so it can get a little tacky so when I put it on it doesn't slip off when I put the track onto the cap It doesn't like you know immediately slip off So I'm gonna blow dry it for a few seconds 
and then I'm gonna put it on and it should stick and then I'm gonna blow dry it again once the track is in place And then I'm just gonna just repeat the same steps and I'm gonna do it over and over and over until my whole head is um, full. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do this um, because it's just like really repetitive. It's really simple. I'm just like placing the tracks like um, like a half inch away from each other because the way these uh, the way this curl pattern is, I don't want my head to be too overly full to where my hair look like a mop. So <laughs> I'm just placing them far apart enough so I don't have too much hair on my wig. So yeah, I'm, good. I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this because it's really repetitive and it's really so simple. Oh, and if I didn't tell you guys, this is the Brazilian water wave hair. Water wave hair. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I ever mentioned the curl pattern, but yeah, it's water wave, and I'm going to be sure to um, put all the direct links for the hair in the description. And you guys, it's really important that you blow dry um, because if you don't blow dry and make the glue tacky and you let the track go, it's just going to fall right off your head. So it's just, it's just good to blow dry it just so you can be sure that it will stick. Yeah. 
so what I'm doing now is blow drying. Um, I'm finished with the whole head, and I'm just blow drying, making sure that all of the tracks are dry before um, I take it off of my head, just so any tracks wouldn't slip off. I'm just being cautious, making sure that everything is dry and, and um, even. So it literally just slides right off my head <laughs> because of the shower cap. So now I'm just going to um, put my part in my baby hairs and I'm going to lay down um, the top part of my closure and I'm going to, I'm actually going to brush the hair out and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to bring the curl pattern back with um, some water and curl enhancer smoothie. You, you guys just just watch just watch what I do. <laughs> and I'm going to spray it with water. I'm not going to get it like drenched in water, but I'm going to make it a little bit damp. Just so when I put the curl enhancing smoothie on, um, yeah. the curl pattern can come back and the curls can be, you know, really juicy. So I'm taking some mousse, it's just like wrap lotion, and it's gonna lay down the my closure, the top part of my closure, so everything can be flat at the top. And I'm going to take some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer and a uh, um, flat concealer brush and I'm just going to put the concealer right in my part 
and then um, to even it out to make sure it's none of my hair I'm just gonna take the um, my, my toothbrush that I just used to lay my baby hairs and I'm just gonna brush it through just so you won't like see any of my hair So now I'm just going to play around with it on how I want it. And I'm just going to tuck that part behind my ear. And you guys, that is the final wig look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.